Yeah, we need sword fighting back. Like Empire is perfect if that's real yeah. to have the sword fighting real. back. It, 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 there's no way it's not real. There's no way. You must have, surely they would have said something with all the Assassin's Creed YouTubers mm -hmm. talking about it and making content on it. Surely, if it wasn't real, they surely they would have said something, right? Like no, they don't say mm -hmm. anything. They've been smart. They just haven't said anything. They haven't commented. It's strange. It's very strange because with Unity, they came out and said, "Oh shit, here's a teaser for it." Yeah, it got leaked. Syndicate, yeah. they, were, they, they came out and said, yeah, it's real, victory's real, got leaked, sorry about it, you'll see more soon. With Empire, they were like, we can't comment on rumour and speculation, that's because and then they just left it. That's because Unity, there's screenshots, it's because Syndicate, there's screenshots, like, it's yeah. undeniable, this is enough that they can, they don't have to comment, but we know it's real. Yeah. Do you because think if it wasn't real, they'd say, no, nah, this isn't real? No, but, no, oh, not necessarily, no. but it's the, no. same, the guy that I, because I did, again, I've, always talk about this video but i did a video of why it's real and in it just in general like i've got so many reasons why it's real but the guy that that literally announced and leaked and was right all three times was he leaked black flag with with one screenshot and a poster picture he leaked unity he leaked syndicate he's the same guy that leaked empire and he was right all three times why would i doubt Trust him me. now why would i doubt mm -hmm. him now Whereas he confirmed, someone put something up and he's like, I've heard the exact same thing. And I'm like, well, I believe you. And the reason he didn't write an article about it is because he didn't have enough to, to announce it. But because someone said it first and he's like, yeah, I've heard the exact same thing, I'll write an article corroborating it. He didn't write an article yeah. leaking it because he didn't have a screenshot to prove it. He would just be, I'm, le I'm saying it for the sake of saying it. He'd sound like illegitimate. Whereas the fact that mm. someone on 4chan said it, and he's like, nope, they're legit. I've heard the exact same thing. I'm corroborating them. He had a reason now to announce that. That makes sense. It makes All right, yeah, that sense. makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so I'm definitely... I trust that dude. Because he, know, he clearly yep. knows shit. He's gotten so many inside information, and I believe he's heard about it, but never, hadn't yet got his hands on it. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the first people to get his hands on some screenshots and he leaks it later this year or early next year. Yeah, that'd be great not gonna lie like people are like like i like people complain about leaks all the time and i get it that it's it's bad for the company but i fucking love it yes, it's great as a youtubers that yeah i'm it's pretty great. sure companies leak their own stuff sometimes that's true yeah, yeah right definitely there. yeah like I, i'm pretty sure unity leaked on purpose those yep, screenshots yep. that was very on purpose to be fair but yeah. black flag and syndicate syndicate was definitely not on purpose that was way too early. it was two weeks after unity came out yeah <laughs> yeah that was definitely not that was yeah that well, just, actually was just bad actually no i don't know everyone was talking shit about unity and they're like distract him that, Ooh, to be fair that could make sense that yeah. would make sense actually that's not i'm not mad at that idea actually <laughs> and yeah. they gave some really good screenshots in it like grappling and stuff yeah, yeah they did they gave like it was where did those screenshots even come from because it looked like it was taken directly from a piece of like like yeah. like the target gameplay footage almost like they send it to this guy to leak it and then this time he he, he says something right and right, but also at the same time, fifty percent of his leak is true because he goes and they're waiting till twenty seventeen. Literally yeah, two like, weeks later, Ubisoft mm -hmm. announced we're not making game this year. Oh, okay, like the leak said, you yeah. you've yeah. corroborated Ubisoft have officially corroborated fifty percent of what the yeah. 4chan leak said. Exactly. That was then corroborated by a guy that has leaked the last three games one hundred percent accurately. Mm. This, like, how could you? Because there's no this, way you can like. That right there is not something that you can easily predict because Ubisoft have released an Assassin's Creed game every year since 2009. Just that's, that's such a coincidence if he just went out and one was just like, yeah, they're not releasing one 2016. Just trying to like further the leak mm -hmm. and then it actually ends up being true because it's just so far fetched because they've made an Assassin's Creed game every year since 2009. Yeah. It's so it's something that no one would expect. Everyone expected a game this year, and then they're just like, nope, not happening. So you know, it it really does further the leak. And, and it's like, and someone then oh. argues, and but someone then would go to me, but what if he knew the the, the only fifty percent of it? He only knew that there was not going to be a game this year, and then he used it to that information to make up a leak. And I'm like, yeah, but he also leaked accurately the three games before, so that's mm. a wrong. That's not a wrong argument. Everything yeah. it's real, like I yeah. believe it hundred percent. That's the next. He also game. said it wouldn't be at E three as well. He's that's another thing he said. Did he say that? Oh, and he's right again. Yeah, he said. And yeah, he said. He said, uh, make sure you guys screenshot this when you don't see Assassin's Creed at E3 this year. And then there was no Assassin's Creed at E3 this year, other than the movie. But I don't count that. The, yeah, it's not the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes, that's what I mean. And in mm. I, in my video, I explain it. 
if you haven't seen it, everyone go watch it. it has some it has some thirty it has thirty uh, two thousand views, so it's, I'm, I'm the man. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you, I talk about and it has story points too. And then there's other theories. You, Ethan, myself, and other YouTubers have come up with that about the story of why that makes sense to go to Egypt and how lots of the law fits in. But also, mm-hmm. you know, the further you go back, the harder it is to relive memories. But what a perfect time because Sages, and they talked about in Project Phoenix in Unity, they had a whole trailer for it of, with Sages, we'll be able to unlock the secrets of the Peace of Eden. We'll be able to go back further. Look at that in Syndicate. Who comes into these oh, factories? Oh, no, dude, Desmond's, don't do this to me. Don't Desmond, do this to me. Desmond's son is a oh. sage. Uh, so, yeah, or Desmond's son, Desmond's brother, who the fuck knows, but this guy was related to Desmond's a sage. Next minute we play as him as a character in the modern day, that works. And the fact that we can go back further with Sage Blood, because they have more concentrated DNA, and especially first Civ DNA, so we can go back further mm-hmm. and relive memories further. That makes sense that we can go back 2,000 years like Empire and Egypt, and plus mm-hmm. all these other lore bits fit like the box, like Consus, if we want them to fit, I guess. Plus all these pieces of Eden and cool shit. It's just the perfect fucking recipe, plus the yeah. the real leaks from the guy that's accurately leaked everything. Jesus, so it is it real. Is. It is. A, it's so no, real. There, <laughs> there is no. There's there, there's nothing you can say to me and my argument just now that could debunk it. There's nothing. There's also the fact that this is kind of irrelevant in a way, but if we want it to fit, we can make it fit. Is that there's been so many hints to Egypt that have happened in previous Assassin's Creed games, like sending the apple to Cairo in um, Unity. There's sure. the whole in Syndicate. There's that um, uh, obelisk that wasn't meant to be there, but they put it in for some reason, even though it wasn't wasn't built until slightly later. I like that uh, one, but the Cairo bit was yeah let's see they're not they're not necessarily refer- relevant it's an important but, city like, yeah, yeah 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 i'll tell you but his son went to egypt like, after he left Marseille yeah yeah, yeah. The, they're making but the, the, the point is that they seem to make egypt seem like a prominent location they're just kind of like oh look all these people are talking about it like it just seems kind of like it's, it's important like not that it, yeah they're just making it seem important they've it, i think with the exception of some of the games in the Ezio trilogy they talked about egypt in every game yeah, pretty sure it's brought up a lot of times There's in Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Council page, and again in my awesome video, the confirmed, the confirmed Empire. Um, <laughs> I mentioned there's the like you're pretty much talking about the Assassin's Creed Council page has a list of ref every time Egypt was referenced in an Assassin's Creed game. Really? Yeah, they they made a list. Of, you can go to my video, Assassin's Creed: The Truth, Episode Five: Why Empire is Real. And uh, in go. the links in the description, <laughs> I'm an asshole. Um, in the links in the description. There's a, um, oh, there is one that is, Jesus Christ, and I'm, I've gone everywhere, that says, where does it say? It's, uh, I think it's the... Oh, it's AC Council Egypt hints, got it. Yep, there we go. It's the first link in, yeah. The okay, link. let's have a look here. So, list of Egypt. So, number one, rooms that Egypt begins with two leagues, an image of a character in Egypt, and a video named Project Osiris. Oh, yeah, Project Osiris. That was that game by Ubisoft that was then cancelled and never happened. Wink, 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 wink. Uh, Which I don't think so has that's, anything that's, to do with that's 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 Well, I think, yeah, but what I think possibly might have happened is, because it's the same with Prince of Persia. Originally, Prince of Persia was meant to be out, then they changed it to Assassin's Creed. So what if they were making Osiris games in Egypt? They ended up cancelling it, then they picked up what they had there and turned it to an Assassin's Creed game using the Black Flag team. That could be something that happened. That's true. Uh, the map of the Codex of Altair is indicating a place in Cairo where there's a piece of Eden or temple that can be found. Well, there's no, the shock, of AC- there's no shock. There's temples everywhere, so that's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, it, it, it means that that could be a location that it's they choose important. since it is prominent. Yeah, yeah well, Australia uh, has a temple of- in it. That we're not going to Australia, I hope not. Did this but this person <laughs> this person just said at the end of Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood. What? Okay, the whole the whole article's ruined. <laughs> Fucking idiot. When Desmond takes the Apple of Eden and kills Lucy, spoiler alert, the marks showed an image of the Eye of Horus. Um this mark already hinted to AC Unity in the French Revolution. Horus is the son of Isis and Osiris. Yeah, we know this. That's cool. Um in AC3, William Miles was captured by Otsoberg when he was in he was not captured. He wasn't captured by Otsoberg, what? Was he? What? What? I think, what? Yeah, I think he was. I heard that. Wait, who, was Otto Berg. who was captured by Otsoberg? I wasn't listening. William Miles in Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, y- yeah? Well, he was captured by Abstergo. Was it ever said that it was Otsoberg that did that? Was he even a character at that point? Or they no, just made they up that later that it was Otsoberg, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but he was in Cairo in search of an energy source. Well, we just know that was in Cairo. That's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But still, Egypt being mentioned. 
uh, in Assassin's Creed 3 DLC, Tyranny in Washington, there was a pyramid. Yeah, that's totally yeah, that's that is a thing that happened. Yeah. Um, in AC Black Flag, the future setting email indicated an ancestor of Desmond from his maternal oh line. Oh my god! In oh the- my god! Desmond's son would have that line. Oh. Ooh. So he would set the 13th century though. So that'd be 1200s. I mean, that could be relevant. See, what if? Because they've said that the uh, see this. Did the person in the leak state that it was ancient Egypt, or did they just say Egypt? Because I don't know. I don't, don't know. I think they said ancient, but ancient to me is still also empire, um, the, the Roman Empire. It's possible, period, like, possible, yeah, but thirteenth yeah. century. Okay, possibly, but what to if to me Osiris? We, like yeah. said, Osiris was supposed to be like two thousand BC. That's too far back, and I don't think they'd set an Assassin's Creed game that far. Like what we talked None. about earlier is the time period setting. But I, well, yeah, but I'm thinking it'd still be do you BC. Know, Victor, did they say ancient Egypt in the leak? I do not remember. <laughs> Shit. Um, I'm trying to think, but I can't think. Um, just, I can Google it. But if, again, if, if if it's Desmond's son, like, holy shit, you know what I mean? Like, it just, I don't know. They could always have flashbacks to just, ancient Egypt, like, using mm, yeah. using the ankh, which records, apparently, stuff. It just fits, man. Like, it just fits. I'm trying yeah. to search this up. Assassin's Creed Empire League. I'm trying to I've, find I've it. I've got it right now because, again, it's another link okay. in the description to my video why Assassin's Creed Empire is real. Assassin's Creed, the truth, episode 5. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> the next week, Assassin's Creed, which we believe is set in ancient Egypt and codenamed Empire, won't launch until 2017, according to both okay. new online rumor and source speaking to Kotaku. One person familiar with Ubisoft's upcoming gaming plans told me this afternoon that the decision to delay Empire from fall 2016 was made after 2014's disappointing Unity and that this bump will allow the development team more room to improve and polish the game. The source said uh, the... Uh, b- uh, I don't even know what it is. I can't speak right now. It's so late. Biennial? Biennial? Is that the biennial approach? I could Oh, yeah, biennial. Cause, yeah, sure. Because two, every two years. Biennial approach could be a new trend for Assassin's Creed, which suffered mm-hmm. from the franchise fatigue in recent years. Rumors about Empire originated this morning on 4chan boards of all places where an anonymous poster claimed claiming to be a developer at Ubisoft wrote that Assassin's Creed would be skipping this year and that 2017's big game would be set in Egypt. So, from what I gather from this, because he's talking about how this morning there was the leak, then he talked to his source that afternoon and corroborated the leak, is what this mm-hmm. poster said. And this poster, again, is the guy that's leaked the last three games accurately, 100%. So Yeah, so ancient Egypt is what we're looking so he, at right so now. So he so. didn't know this before the leak. He heard the leak and then asked someone that he must get his information from, is that true? And they said yes. That's what okay. it sounds like from his article. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I mean, if they're saying ancient Egypt, that's, I think, that's like any time between 3100 BC and like 300 BC or something like that. From, I, uh, yeah, I mentioned this in a video. There's a bunch of different like stuff that happened during ancient Egypt, but it's a, it's a huge time period of like 3000 years. So it could be set any time between that. Yeah, that's crazy. Holy shit. Empire Confirmed. That's the title of this podcast. Yeah, there is a fuck ton of Egypt, like, mentions in this, like, there's the employee handbook. There was mm-hmm. stuff about Unity. Yeah, Dead Kings, like I mentioned. Um, stolen Files by Assassin's Temples have a short memories from John Standish in which Egyptian warriors can be seen. Mm-hmm. What's that? Has there been... As much as Oh, dude! Yes, I know this. This was from... Okay, yeah, it was from Unity. It was this thing. The um, beginning? Yeah. It, no, 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 no. It was... Uh, there was... Actually, at the beginning of Unity, wasn't there like a sarcophagus uh, at some point? Uh, but 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 there was this... Um, what do you mean sarcophagus? Like in, there was in, a sarcophagus. In, like in, a, the, in the animus or in modern? Uh, no, no, no. When it does... In the modern day, but when it updates, them, when it shows you the modern day, it shows like a Leonardo's flying machine. Then it shows like a sarcophagus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's yeah. through the room. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, but also, um, it was in Unity. I remember showing this in a video. I don't remember where the fuck it's from, but apparently it's memories from John Standish from uh, Black Flag. And um, there is, like, there's kind of like, you know how Unity has, like, the loading symbol where it's, like, those weird bars that kind of spin around each other? Yeah. It was, like, it was like three of those kind of next to each other. Well, kind tri- of Triple helix. That's what they say. Kind of, like, have. glitching out. And it had... Like, you could see, like, it kind of looked Egyptian, like, different Egyptian people kind of, like, it looked like concept art kind of thing. That's the kind of style it looked like, oh, kind of inside of these bars, kind of, like, gl- like animus glitched kind of thing. Interesting. Right. 
So I guess that's what this thing is. Okay. Yep. Yep. Interesting. 